great are you? Really good. Are you yeah. enjoying this whole... I love it, yeah. It's been, is this your first time here? No, no, I've been here a few times. Yeah, last time with Twilight, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it's great to be here. It's like the perfect audience for us. So, yeah. What's it like to actually be, you know, having that very different experience with Twilight and then this type of vampire? It's very different because that you know this is like your Marvel Toro show, so it's it's its own unique monster, and uh, it's uh, I think it's what's quite wonderful about this train is like we have Guillermo directing every bit of it, and you know he wrote three novels, and uh, he's uh, he's director of pilot, and he's behind as a producer, so um, he brings his very specific sensitivity to to the cast and to every part of the production. Your character seems to be having a little bit of a moral dilemma. Uh, yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, is she going to be able to get past that? I mean, I know what the book does, but is your character going to tell about it? Eventually, yeah, she kind of has to. There's so many things that will happen to Nora throughout the season, and she'll just like see so many things that will open her eyes. And I think she just has to make a moral, not moral, but um, an ethical decision uh, of you know what she needs to do and what's the best thing for humanity and, and for herself and for her loved ones. So, of course, she you know eventually she'll she'll shift towards the, the more drastic type of things that need to be done. Yeah. Are we going to be seeing more? There's hints of a romance. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we we will see that as as much time. You know, as as much as Nora and F can. There's so much going on, and the first season happens uh, within nine days. So um, the world will be changing throughout those nine days, and it's basically the the end of you know the reality as we know it. So um, yeah, they, they'll get they'll get to like you know squeeze in a couple of moments where their story will you know develop or you know, I don't know show itself. Yeah. Did you read the books before you got involved, or when when you knew that you had a part? Did you? I read the books the throughout the audition process. I had a long audition process because I had many um, chemistry reads with all with all the guys. We wanted to make sure that the the gang was cohesive. Um, so I got to in between uh, readings, I got to read every novel, and it was it was a great process for me because I was kind of like completely immersed in the strain for like 25 days of my, of my life. Yeah. Did you have nightmares? I did, yeah. Yeah, I did. And I also have a bit of nightmares um, after watching the episode. I'm not very good with horror movies. Or, so. It's so interesting to think about being in it, you know, being on set. All the yeah, time. I noticed that I have to watch it like in the afternoon and then do something else. When I watch it just before going to bed, it's it's not a good combo for me. Is, are you right filming it though? Or? Yeah, because you know, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the gore and, and stuff, like, there's special effects. Mm. So it's very different when we film it. It's very, very different. It's, it's quite emotional and quite dramatic for us when we film it, of course. But we don't see a lot of the stuff that we will end up seeing on the screen. We have, we have time for one more question. Thank what, you. What is the best thing you like about playing this character the show? Um, I like her humanity. And I, I like how strong she is. And yet, in her strength, she um, she's very feminine. So I really like that. It's a, and there is quite unique that way, that, that way. and uh, Guillermo um, asked me to keep both things going at the same time, her femininity and uh, her heart, and, but also her toughness. So it's a, it's a cool character to play. I have a lot of fun playing her. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much.